What is my rule on looks? You lose. You lose one look point every seven years. So it, at basically at 20, she was a solid nine. Yeah. I mean, we're talking, the first movie that I remember seeing her in was called Her Alibi. It was the same director as I think, uh, Driving Miss Daisy, Bruce Beresford. And it was with Tom Selleck. And I want to say it was late 80s. That was when she was in her prime. Okay. We are now- So she's like 50 something Almost 40 years past that. She's 57 years old. So she's almost 60. Yeah. Okay, so after now, I will admit this freely. Okay, for a fifty-seven-year-old woman, she looks good for her age. Well, no, we're looking, but she can afford it. But yeah, but you're looking at at this woman who has been, she's been fully bump and grinded right there. Oh, I have no doubt. Okay, because I'm sure she was just a smokestack when she was twenty-five. Yes. But you lose one point every. Yeah, but by the time even she was in Thursday, that movie that he referenced. Uh huh. I thought she was starting to look a little rough. Yeah. So because at that point we were over ten years post her alibi when she was in her prime. Well, so I mean, without her makeup and all the crazy stuff, she's probably a solid six. Yeah. Okay. Solid six is is not nothing to write home about. Uh, I would not even know if I would take it that far, because I mean, I mean, she might be okay for her age, but remember, this is with really good lighting. Yeah, and she's like, it's okay to ogle somebody that could be her daughter, but not mature women. Okay, I'm just going to ask, says who? Yeah. Well, where's this manual of rules? Okay, anyone who has spent five minutes on the internet with the ungodly amount of orn pay Mm -hmm. knows that rule 34, if you can think of it, there's porn of it. That's absolutely correct. Rule 34. There, There is gilf porn. Ugh. I'm sure there's even G Gilf porn. I haven't searched for it myself because I'm not a, a masochist. <laughs> I'm sure it's out there. But the thing is, is she's fit, she's oh, she's basically a c- hair away from sixty. Yeah. All right. And, and she and people just aren't paying attention anymore. And I love this. Someone who has clearly been bump and grinded. Yes. Comes out and says there's a hypocrisy with society's obsession with looking young. Okay, you have clearly had work done. Correct. So who's really got an obsession with looking young? Uh, okay, so yeah, 56 years old, a long, outspoken advocate about ageism. Okay. <laughs> she often, she says it often seems she's invisible to the population at large. Gee, it's almost like a former supermodel is telling you what we have gotten strikes on this channel for telling you for years. Yep. Uh, well, first of all... It's not hate speech when she says it, though. Yeah. I mean, she's aged out. She's like a six. If that. I mean, she... I mean for her age, yeah, definitely a solid I six. mean, I'm sure there's like 70, 80-year-old men who hit that all day long. Yeah. But I'm sure that like a dude my age... Nah. If she, if she disrobed... I'd be like, you know, if you were near a taffy puller, I could make a fortune on America's Funniest Home Videos. Correct. Well, it- I look good, she said, of the pictures, which include nude shots. <laughs> Here we go. Makeup-free selfies and bikini pics. I didn't realize that it would be shocking for a 50-something woman to pose in the same bikinis from 30 years ago that still fit. Well, you know what? I'm going to give credit where credit is due. If you can still wear the same bikinis that you did 30 years ago... Yeah, you're probably saving a lot of money on clothes. A golf clap for you. I think that's fantastic. No one is going to say that she doesn't look good for her age. No, I can't fit into my uniforms from 30 years ago. Yeah. Now, is she wronger than two boys f***ing about the hypocrisy? Correct. 1,000%. Yeah. Okay. It is not hypocritical to ogle young women. Men value youth, beauty, and fertility. And we don't stop admiring those things as we get older. I would call that consistency, not hypocrisy. Well... When we get all, like, all men are going to get busted doing this at one point or another, it's a classic mistake. Yeah, monkey necking. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, you'd be out with your girl, <laughs> and some hot ass young piece will walk by, and you'd be like, Ooh. "Who?" And then you're going <laughs> to get in some troll. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Is it? It's okay to ogle somebody who could be your daughter, but not mature women who know themselves and are most likely way better at sex. Or, well, okay. Until then, you bust a hip. Then we'll just ignore you. 
Yeah. I, evidently, somebody ignored her, and she's not happy about it. Well, that's the thing. Like, I mean, she says she she admits to what we have been saying forever, which is why women who are born with innate value that goes down as they age as they age need to strike while the iron is hot. Time is undefeated. It waits on nobody. <laughs> it waits on nobody. And in the end, gravity always wins because you wind up six feet under. You can't buy more time. No. She also explained that while she could go under the knife to appear younger, she wants to show that older women have value. Okay. If she's claiming that she has not gone under the knife, I want to see the ironclad NDA agreement that she gave to the plastic surgeon. Because there is no way in hell a 56-year-old woman looks like that naturally. Yeah. And you know what? Whenever I see older women that uh, put on a facade like this, Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, like, yeah, it probably has got really good wrapping paper, but I bet you the gift inside is a bucket of shit. Or a Pringles can. Full of shit. (laughs) I just don't understand. I'm merely going for representation. Yeah, so are the Marxists. Yep. Okay? I'm sorry. You're not going to win this fight. All right. There's always going to be dudes out there who are going to like going for older ladies. And uh-huh. that's totally fine. Like Tim Robbins married Susan Sarandon when they were making Bull Durham together. She's 15 years older than him. Jason Momoa is divorcing Lisa Bonet. She's like 15 years older than him. That so there are, shocked me. Yeah, there are men out there that... This is their thing. And to those men, you will never be invisible. But that is by no means the majority of men. No. And it is what it is. Yeah, and men, men like what they like. If your waxworks are drier than the cat litter that you keep in the laundry room. You're going to have a problem. You're going to have a problem. <laughs> Hang on. I got to do it. <laughs> and, and when you're 56 years old, it doesn't matter if you try to pull that vag out of mothballs. It's not going to happen. No, no. <laughs> you would need a bathtub of lube to make that happen. Well, first of all, like the difference between a 57-year-old man and a 50 or 57-year-old woman is like night and day. Yeah. Well, because men continue to gain value as they get older to a point. I mean, men eventually hit the wall yeah, as well. Yeah. But because our value is attained through hard work, building ourselves, it's different for us. We can also build a ramp. Yeah, if you have enough money, yeah, you can build a ramp over the wall. And then apparently after you die, then the Playboy Playmates that you got to bang in your 80s start to complain about it and you're, they can still be seen as the victim. Fuck that. Yeah, they get getting sued from the grave. <laughs> <What a bummer. laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.